Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Don't you hate it when you feel like you've come to a point where you've lost your credibility so much that you have to resort to the lowest common denominator just so you can have a conversation? Yeah, I'm sure Nickelodeon knows how that feels considering how they only sell merchandise relating to Spongebob memes nowadays. Lots of good TV shows and movies have something memorable about them. Whether it's a character, the music, the setting, the concept, the talent, etc. Things like that are what makes that TV show or movie so popular to begin with, and why everybody who watched them looks back at them so fondly. But in our digital heavy age, the biggest thing that everybody will remember could be a bling and you'll miss it frame that becomes popular by adding white aerial looking text on the picture. All of our childhood shows have something like that which becomes popular online, and Spongebob is no exception. In just about every season of the show, there's at least one episode that has an image, quote, or sequence that becomes popular online. Sometimes it's for a good reason, because the quote is so iconic, and these days, it's the blinking you'll miss in frames that we all can't escape from. Ah! So today, I'll stoop to a different kind of low, and talk about all the memes in the first season of Spongebob. However, I do have a few rules I set for today. The only memes I'll be talking about are what actually originated from the actual episodes themselves. If we look at the wiki, we can see this miscellaneous section that's filled with things like rumors and conspiracy theories that are just what fans believe after looking at the internet, and this parody section that shows what people do when they do drugs before they enter high school at the age of 14. I'd love to dive into conspiracy theories, but that's not on today's agenda. We're sticking to the base episodes and what iconic lines or images spawn from them, and not something like merchandise or home media. If there was a clip from an episode and it became popular online by using a famous song from an artist, like Spongebob Wolves for example, which was popular because of the song Wolves being played with that clip, that doesn't count since that's a fan edit and that song wasn't in the actual episode. We'll mostly be referring to the list of memes on the Spongebob wiki. If I miss something in the discussion, it's because that wasn't put on the list and that would be why I didn't include it, so I apologize in advance. I also can't talk about all of them because these days it's possible to memify any line from any episode. And this is only from season 1, so nothing beyond that. So without further ado, what am I doing with my life? Let's start off with episode 3, Tea at the Tree Dome. The scene where most people think of is the scene where Spongebob is thinking that he doesn't need any water. I don't need it. Before he gives in and yells, I need it! It's often used for people who are trying to not give in to their urges for whatever they fangirl over. But Patrick doesn't say this, which brings us to episode 4, Bubble Stand. People constantly talk about remembering the technique, and so do I. But the quote everybody loves the most is when Spongebob blows an elephant bubble and Patrick says, It's a giraffe! It's funny, but there's not much to say about it. Now it's time to get serious because our next meme is the serious lifeguard from episode 5, Ripped Pants. This kind of face is definitely iconic, but this is also the kind of expression that you'd find from any kind of TV show or any movie. There's not much of a difference as you'd think between this and Cat Mario with a serious expression. Circling back to Patrick, he's serious too because in episode 6, Jellyfishing, he tells Squidward to FIRMLY GRASP IT! Which leads into Patrick injuring Squidward further since he doesn't understand why Squidward's not holding it. Again, it's funny, but not much to say about it. Speaking of Patrick and Squidward, the next meme involves them too. Episode 8, Naughty Nautical Neighbors, involves Squidward playing a tune on his clarinet in E minor and Patrick cheering him. And then he falls asleep as soon as Squidward starts playing. Speaking of Squidward, let's skip ahead to episode 10, Pizza Delivery. While this episode is also great because it shows Squidward actually being nice to Spongebob since he's usually grouchy towards him, there's also some popular scenes here like the Krusty Krab Pizza song, The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza absolutely. The scene where Squidward is chasing Spongebob telling him to give him the pizza, and the part where Spongebob is trying to hitchhike like the Pioneers and it cuts to Squidward playing the spoons. I love when it cuts to Squidward playing the spoons, but the popular part is, of course, just the still image of him looking annoyed. And believe me, this won't be the last time we'll be hearing this today. I wish. Something else that people love about Squidward is... 
Well, that. And this sees a Squidward opening his eyes, and he realizes SpongeBob is in his bed from episode 11, Home Sweet Pineapple. <coughs> it's used to emphasize when somebody has no interest in something, their eyes are closed, and they become open when they hear something they are interested in. Good night, SpongeBob. Speaking of no interest, episode 12, Murrayman and Barnacle Boy, has Squidward in sunglasses, where Squidward looks in a direction and then turns around again with his sunglasses over his eyes again. Also used to show no interest in whatever. Moving away from Squidward, for now, we also have SpongeBob dressed in drag. SpongeBob is dressed as a lady as part of a plan to get Murrayman and Barnacle Boy out of retirement. But then people Photoshop this image to look as if SpongeBob is traveling abroad. Both of these so-called memes are not very interesting in my opinion. And of course, Murray Man yelling <laughs> is the best from this episode. But now let's talk about somebody else, Bubble Bass. In episode 13, Pickles, he places an overly long order, which everybody loves, which ends with Squidward saying, We serve food here, sir. And now it's time to talk about an episode which is only remembered these days for a couple of funny images. Episode 18, Nature Pants. Both of the funny frames occur in the same scene. This image of SpongeBob looking tired, and this frame of Patrick with an evil smile. I've seen more people talk about Patrick's savage look, probably because of the reveal scene. I got you now, SpongeBob! The exhausted scene shouldn't have been one of those popular memes to me, but of course it did. But now we have a lot of scenes with Squidward. Episode 20, Culture Shock, features this dance scene from the talent show. The dance is pretty well known that it was replicated in the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water, episode 496, Pat Hart Squid from season 12, and episode 534, Abandoned Twits from season 13. In episode 23, Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost, when Squidward pretends to be a ghost, Spongebob and Patrick attempt to put him to rest, and they grab a coffin and say, Okay, get in. Often used for hot takes or unpopular opinions, implying that they shouldn't exist. Like smartphone apps. We also have Squidward's closet filled with alarm clocks from episode 25, Employee of the Month, which truly became popular in July 2019. It's interesting that Squidward cares about his job in this episode if he has that many alarm clocks. Another funny Squidward moment is in episode 28, SB129, where Squidward kept slamming the door over and over again. There's a lot of videos online where fans replace Spongebob and Patrick with other characters from other franchises. From that same episode, there's also Primitive Sponge, not Spongegar, looking surprised. As you'd expect, this is often used to illustrate somebody being caught off guard. But I hear you now, I can tell you're wondering why I'm not talking about Patrick. Well, I got you covered, because he said our next meme line. In episode 30, Sleepy Time, he says, Shoot, that was my last quarter. Finally, a line that speaks to me. Moving on to episode 31, Suds, Patrick treats Spongebob like a doctor and says, Don't touch me, I'm sterile. Not much to say about this one either. Let's talk about episode 32, Valentine's Day. In this episode, when Patrick goes on a rampage, he yells both Hard on stick must die! And I defy you, Hartman! The latter, I've seen people make jokes about Fairly Odd Parents creator Butch Hartman since his name is spelled and pronounced similarly. But now, it's time to move back to Squidward. In episode 33, The Paper, he is shown taking out his lawn chair and packing it up. These images, like the sunglasses, express enthusiasm and unenthusiasm over some occurrence. There's also the debate on whether or not Squidward played wrong notes on his clarinet. What? I didn't play any wrong notes. This is used for something like a remix song in a video game, or if a reboot of a show changes the theme song compared to the original. Something else that's pretty popular is from episode 36, Texas, where Spongebob and Patrick make fun of Texas, and Texas would be replaced with something, whether it's popular or not. These next couple are interesting. In episode 38, Fools in April, Tom, aka the chocolate guy, makes this expression, which is identified as somebody seeing a repost, which is followed by Tom yelling, You what? There's also this old lady's reaction when Spongebob tells her about the spoons being an April Fool's joke. Oh. It just shows text with, oh, okay, but if you actually watch the episode, the text doesn't pop up on screen. So, I don't get why this one is a meme either. 
I like the you what quote better than either of the still frames. Circling back to Patrick, episode 40, Hooky has Patrick eating cheese off of the fish hooks and he says, Does this look dangerous? And now, let's talk about Barnacle Boy. In episode 41, Murray Man and Barnacle Boy 2, Barnacle Boy shows off one of his superpowers, Supervision, and fails to use it well. But of course, we can't ignore... My leg! This is the most famous running gag in Spongebob. The fish who says that quote is named Fred. The character himself first appeared in episode 2, Reef Blower, and the first time this line was ever said is episode 9, Boating School, and the quote was used 9 times in this season alone. Boating School, Hall Monitor, Culture Shock, The Chaperone, Karate Chopper, Sleepy Time, Suds, Arg, Walking Small. It's also used twice in Boating School. We also have the time cards, but those are used throughout the series, and in season 1, there's only time cards in two episodes. I was a Teenage Gary and SB129. And that is all the Spongebob memes from season 1. If I missed your favorite, blame the wiki because that meme was not put on the list. In my opinion, the only things that are actually worthy of becoming memes are the quotes themselves, because those are far more iconic than just a single frame. But of course, anybody can take a single image, add text, and it'll become popular. But at least Spongebob has iconic quotes. Can we say that shoes from Texas are dumb? Well, that's one way to kill time, but at least I proved... 